Welcome back everyone. Well today's a little bit of a departure from electronics and things like that. Uh, today I'm going to take a look at a little project I did uh, that I was uh, talked into doing for my grandson. A 3D printed uh, stick bot which was quite painful to put together so I'm calling him the stink bot. But anyway let's take a look at it now. Well, it's a pretty shit design and my prints are not exactly ideal and I'm missing two bits. So I'm not exactly too sure what I should glue these together with to be absolutely honest. It's PETG that I've printed it in because that's uh, the filament that I had at the time. Look at the way that's raised. I actually printed this with a heated bed, but that has warped like you wouldn't believe. Not sure about the other ones. Yeah, that's warped as well. Yeah, it's got a bit. It's lifted a little bit. Yeah, they all have in the corners a bit. I don't really had that that bad with um, PTG before, to be honest. So I'm not too sure what uh, what I've done differently there. So that's the pelvis. They're the shoulders, and they're the bits and pieces for putting it together. Obviously the head. I'm missing these, um, the top part of the leg. I haven't actually printed it out. So, I guess I'm going to need to fire the printer back up again. Oh, Jesus. I didn't realise that 
but they have to go through there so I'm going to have to pull this one apart the head and the pelvis will be okay wouldn't that give you the shits anyway um, I need to figure out what I'm going to glue that together with anyway I suppose that's the uh, so this is just normal like 5mm bungee cord and I just ordered these stick, uh, you know, suction cups off eBay and this, I'll put a link to this design such as it is yeah, not overly impressed I don't think but yeah, you know, that is what it is I suppose so I've got to put the top part of the legs on here and then the other, this one on the other end, with one of those, and um, and then I can just put that through there and stick it together. So that one's not such a problem. The shoulders, obviously, I need to put these in there and then tie that off again. Okay, and we'll do that off camera. Okay, so. I used hot glue in the end just to stick these bits together. Doesn't that make an unholy mess? Anyway, that seems to have be holding them nicely. So these are the legs. So two of the leg components. Uh, don't forget to stick that in. Did a couple of times. Twice. Uh, through the top of the leg. Through the other one and then the other side so that's sort of ready to go to attach with the pelvis and these are the arms so again the two components here through here through the body through there and then another one again don't forget to uh, put these things on um, so sort of up to the, the last little bit I suppose was going to do this bit last because I figure it might be the easy bit to do but you know the head might be easier anyway when I printed this uh, head I didn't have the height set and there's a lot of uh, there's like a brim around where it laid down it just sort of oozed out and as a result it oozed out into these holes as well and I did start get a drill and start to clean them out but in all honesty I've um, just set the printer up to uh, to print another uh, back and front of the head and I'm going to use that and just bin these bin this one so yeah so once the head's off I'll um, just put this last bit together well it's been a real pain putting this thing together but anyway all that's left is the the head now I reprinted this head because uh, when I printed the first ones the um, I hadn't set up the bed height properly on the printer so these holes were were really stuffed couldn't even now they were just painful to fill out to sort out with a with a drill and everything there was a real lip around here obviously the bed height wasn't quite right this one's quite nice um, so yeah just going through the motions of you know, just cleaning out these holes a, a little bit to see how this fits with the not too bad there, not too bad there. Okay, so I'm actually just using hot glue. I uh, so I printed this in PTG. Got it. 
so I, yeah, as I say, I, I printed these in in PTG, and um, I had a bit of a look on the web. Um, as far as what glue to you it would be best to use with PTG and I found someone who did a heap of tests and um, in the end they found that just plain old hot glue did a pretty reasonable job and I mean it's so quick so I thought I'll give it a try. I mean, the good thing about these this is I can um, easily reprint if need be. Anyway, old mate here. <laughs> Seems to be. Gotta say, I I I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know how these are meant to work, but old mate here seems to be uh, done, done and dusted. So uh, there we go. Uh, just turn the hot glue gun off. I didn't put all the pins in, but um, at the end of the day. Some of them didn't print particularly well or anything like that, so I didn't didn't really bother about it. But there's old mate. There's a couple of inset eyes that you can put in as as well. Actually, I might just give them a shot with a heat gun. There's a few little bits and pieces on there, and I might do a bit of a. T no, that's not too bad. There is a bit of hot glue sort of all over the place. It's a bit uh, bit looks a bit of a mess, but um, yeah. Job done. Now the normal ones I think are about sort of so high thereabouts or something like that. So I mean old mate is a bit of a giant in the uh, as far as stick bots go. Um, I've taken to calling him a uh, stink bot because it was a pretty stinking thing to put together to be absolutely honest. But um, anyway look I'll put a link to the files, the um, STL files. Um, it was just off Thingiverse and um, I think I might uh, call that on the video at the moment and uh, this will be going over to, uh, to my grandson on Monday. Okay, cheers for now. If you like what I'm doing then please do like the video. If you'd like to see more then please subscribe and don't forget to hit the chime so you get notified when I post something new. And I'll put a couple of links here to some other videos you can look at.